with security forces fracturing along clan lines, protesters in the streets, and a power vacuum that allowed Al-Qaeda-linked militants to take over a town. Somalia's President Mohamed Abdullahi Mohamed has backed down on plans to extend his term. I know he appeared on state television in the early hours of Wednesday morning. Earlier, his Prime Minister, Mohamed Hussein Robler, had denounced the proposed term extension and called for preparations for a new presidential election. Mohamed said he commended the efforts of the Prime Minister and other political leaders and welcomed their calls for elections to be held without further delay. <laughs> Finally, I urge all security agencies to maintain the stability of the capital and the safety of innocent civilians, avoiding any actions that may lead to insecurity. I also urge the Somali people to support the armed forces in this regard. The president's term expired in February, but the country failed to hold elections as planned. Earlier this month, Somalia's lower house voted to extend Mohammed's term by another two years. The Senate rejected the move. That provoked a political crisis. Commanders in both the police and military had defected to the opposition, and rival factions clashed in Mogadishu at the weekend. Forces loyal to the opposition seized parts of the city. This raised fears of further violence in Mogadishu and a security vacuum in the surrounding areas. This week, opposition forces abandoned positions in the countryside as they headed for a showdown in the capital. That allowed Al-Qaeda-linked Al-Shabaab to take over at least one town. Mohammed's proposed term extension also angered foreign donors. They had put their faith in his government to bring stability to a country racked by decades of civil war and quash the Al-Shabaab insurgency.